Okay, so let's take a look at how we can record a response to go into Flipgrid. Now we've set up our class, the fun gets to start with the adding in of our own videos and responses. So let's jump into the Flipgrid app. Now I've got my class here because I've gone into it. If you need to join the class, you just enter the code in this section, tap go or scan it. I can jump straight into my class here. And we'll see here's the lesson that we set up before with my nice bear giving me a wave. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap on record response and that's gonna open the camera function and we'll have a look at the new features. If this, if you've not used Flipgrid before, this is a great time to be getting into Flipgrid because it's just had an update and there's some really, really nice new features within the camera. If you have used it before, stay tuned to check out what some of those new features are. So when I first go in, it's gonna give me that option to say record, we get this 30 second, that's what I set it as. Um, and you'll see that I'm just on camera. Hey, how is everyone doing? Now, let's just take a look at some of the functions on this like we did before. By here, we can see that we have uh, this options where we can upload clips. So if you've got videos on your device that you've taken from another app, maybe you're using clips or using any of the Adobe apps to make your videos, you can save them to your camera roll and they'll be available here. This is a really, really nice feature. If I've gone in to start recording my video, but I might have forgotten what the um, topic was on, I can access the notes and it can give me that overview of what I'm expected to do. And then finally, the audio. I might not want to record my voice whilst I'm doing this, so I can tap on the audio and I can turn my voice on or off. But the real beauty comes when we look at the effects. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the effects and you'll see that these are all the things that we can add into our video. Um, very similar if you have used Office Lens, by the way, um, some of these features are in that as well. So, you know, do think about how you can utilize those uh, things within your video. So the beauty is in the effects. So we're gonna tap on effects and these are all things that we can add into our video or to enhance our video to really make it engaging and inspirational and creative for our students. So the first thing is filters. Now, typically when you look at filters, they'll be, you know, oh, uh, the changing it to sepia or black and white um, but we know that the creative app so similar to this similar to clips some of those filters that are fun to play around with are the fact that it, it changes the color altogether so this lovely rainbow kind of look you know just gives a different view to what you're looking at um, there are lots of different styles yes you can have black and white this is a really really nice one um, where you might want to be in the video but not be in the video so it's just going to um, you know pixelate my face you could have fun with this it could be a serious reason why you don't want to be in it but you could also do the you know who is the person behind the the video you know just all that reveal type moment that you might have this is also a really really nice one um i i think it's like lego um, that's what i see when i look at it the little lego bricks from above again just kind of a fun um kind of view as students are using those things you don't have to have filters on, but I would say that probably most children want to have filters on because it is a lot of fun in order to do it. So I'm going to leave my filter on. Next thing is frames. Now, these are a lot of fun as well. They just kind of just position that video, makes it a little bit um, nicer to look at, just kind of frames what it is you're showing. And again, lots and lots of different frames that you can use. This one has to be my favorite from an education point of view. The others are really fun. This one, I'm thinking, you know, just a really, really nice way to, to get students to talk about live events that they might be witnessing. So, you know, give me a 30 second news report of what you did yesterday, um, but just frame it in a way where it's got this kind of news um, effect underneath as well. So again, I'm going to leave that one on because I like it. Um, this isn't new, but the emojis are, are a great thing to use within here. Lots and lots of different emojis that you can use. Um, again, you'll have children that might necessarily not want to be in the video, but do want to be in the video. So just being able to put an emoji over their face is, is just a fun way to kind of hide them. Um, again, when it's it's not about whether they are in the video necessarily, but, but you know, they might kind of want to have the background that they're in, but not have their face on the camera. That's fine, you know, if that's what they want to do. Um, if not, you can just put it off to the side. It could just be a friend who's just sitting on my shoulder. Some other things within the emojis, though, that are nice, um, the, the fact that you can have 
you know, these these lovely stickers, lovely colourful kind of things that you can add in. And obviously we've got the, the functions within maths that you might want to use as well. Um, nice stickers that you can use from different elements and also the magic stickers. But what I like is the fact that I can have a nice little Flipgrid sticker that can go up in the corner. There we go, because I'm making a video about Flipgrid. Why not use a Flipgrid video? sticker and then also the american sign language ones now yes sign language isn't the same in in every single country and different people in those countries might use different sign languages but i just think it's really nice to just highlight that it's a focus within the app to get people to to understand that accessibility features are there and you know why not use them if we have access to using them because we never know who might need to use them so that's our emojis. We can also add in text, some lovely new stickers that we can add in, kind of different styles of, of typing. So let's put this one in. Um, so I'm just going to type on the screen and just, oops, type on screen, say hello. You see we've got this lovely kind of style of writing here and I can move that to wherever I want to put it on the screen and pinch to make it bigger and, and angle it, etc. So really, really nice little touch. And there's other you know, nice styles that you can add into your text. We can draw directly on the screen. Again, this isn't new. You know, we've always been able to do this. I've got my Apple Pencil. Um, I can just draw directly on the screen. I don't know why it's always tempting to kind of put glasses on people when you've got the, the op option to do it. So there we go. We can draw, we can write. And where that's also really, really useful is we can also add in these boards. Now, there's been a couple of updates to these. Um, we can just have the plain board that we might want to write on. Um, if I just access my drawing pen again, I can write on this. But also we've got new boards where we can have writing paper, we can have graph paper, we can have dots. So actually from an educator student point of view, we might want to use this feature to actually explain something. So again, if I was recording this, um, and I'm not recording at the moment, I'm just showing you all the features, I might want to talk through a maths equation or science experiment or whatever. It could be absolutely anything. Um, but having that board behind me, is really, really good. Now you can turn these on and off as you're going through the video. Um, it obviously, it takes a little bit of getting used to, to thinking about how you're gonna do it, but if you plan it in advance, what a great way to kind of make that video. And you don't have to do it all in one go as we look at when we start recording. So let's turn that off for a second. I'll jump back into the camera, hi. Um, we can add in photos. So again, similar to, to when we said we can add in videos before, we can add in photos. And again, draw over those. And our friends, the GIFs, um, we can add in those GIFs and again we can search through all of these different GIFs for something that we might want to do and if we search here our bear is there again um, just saying hello to us. So there we go, we can add in all those things. So let's just go back a few, let's clear this a little bit. Um, there we go, we'll leave it with this. When I'm ready to record I tap on the big record button which is down here. And we'll talk about how we can then utilise this feature um, in the video creation aspect. So now I'm recording, I can you know, add in those extra elements. Like I said, if I go on effects, I can change the board. I can start to write on the board. I can change, you know, have the pen in there, write on this, talk about whatever I'm talking about. I can also then pause my recording. And when I tap on the go here, I can- So now I'm recording, I'm done. I can you know, add in those extra okay. happy with that. But you know what? I'm going to add in some more. I'm not recording yet, but this time I'm gonna change the filter maybe. And I'm going to take the board off. And do you know what? I'm going to add a photo in this time. Uh, I'll add in one of my favourites. Here we go. And we can talk about the fact that Liverpool won the league. And then I can start recording again. So straight away here, I can okay. start recording, talking about my now. next thing. And then when we're done, so now I'm recording, I can, you know, we can start to play around with these. You know, I might want that section to go before this section. So again, you can edit all of the things, but when you're so happy, now I'm recording, tap on the tick. It's going to ask you to take a selfie. And again, you can do all of the, the features in here. So you can um, put a nice frame. Let's take a nice frame around my head and I'll remember to smile for my selfie. And then we tick it and then we're ready to upload. So there we go. We submit that. It goes into your video for other people to look at where they can then comment on those topics. They can add in their own response. They can build on what you've said. Um, you might ask a question. They might respond and then ask another question. You know, there are so many ways to use Flipgrid. Check out the site. Check out all of the educator ideas that are shared. This is just the new features that are there for you to use. 
I'm sure your children in your classes or even your adults in your classes are going to absolutely love playing around with the new features.